21st Vintage Indiana Wine Festival is back this year after the pandemic forced it to cancel last year. Joining me live this morning, Katie Bryant. She is a marketing specialist and on the Purdue Wine Grape team. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, I guess good Tuesday. I always think it's Monday and it's I know. Not. It is Tuesday and a new month. You are also the organizer of this event. So first, tell us about what people can expect to drink this year. Yeah, so we have 17 Indiana wineries that are lined up to join us on Saturday, June 5th, so literally Saturday, for the Vintage Indiana Wine Festival. So we weren't able to sit together last year, and right. these wineries are so excited, let me tell you. Well, definitely, if you like to drink wine. Attendance, though, is capped this year. Tell us more about that. Yes, so we are capping at um, 5,000 attendees. So we are just about out of VIP tickets. I'm talking there's like 50 VIP tickets left. Other than that, we have a total cap of 5,000 people. So that is literally half of what we have every other year. So it'll be great sipping weather. Everybody can kind of space out a little bit. Um, we are practicing social distancing, and you do need to wear your mask if you are not eating or drinking. That is very important. Tell us about the protocols that people will need to follow. Yeah, so um, once you are in the park, like I said, you, you just need to follow those social distancing protocols. We do ask that you wear a mask if you're not eating or drinking. We do have an increased sanitation or some increased sanitation areas. We also have some sitting tables, so you can kind of go grab some food from a food truck, grab a nice glass or bottle of wine, and kind of make this more of a picnic. Right. Um, we do have three DJs that are on our stage this year, so no live music. Again, we're just trying to get through this year, make it safe, make sure that Vintage Indiana can happen, and we will be back and bigger than ever in 22 as well. That's fantastic. First of all, how can people get tickets, and where will this take place for those who are interested? Absolutely. So downtown Indianapolis at Military Park um, this Saturday, June 5th, VIPs can start sipping at 11 a.m. General admission is at noon. Um, tickets are pre-sale only, and those can be found at VintageIndiana.com. And Katie, for those who have a particular uh, liking of wine, what wines should they expect? So this is Indiana's largest Indiana only wine festival. So right. the only wineries you will find here are made in Indiana, or Indiana grown wineries, if you will. And the wine lists that we have available this year are awesome. So we have everything from slushies to sangrias, dry white wines to sweeter red wines, fruit wines, and everything in between. So there really is something for everybody. All right, Katie Barnett, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And have a wonderful day and weekend.